Dream Dancer. Please sit down and make yourself really comfortable and as you elegantly dance cheek to cheek with your chair, just begin to think about all the atoms in your body that are also dancing. In fact, if you think about it, really think about it now, everything is dancing to the music of life, to the graceful rhythm. Good and evil, yin and yang, life and death, right and wrong, night and day, big and small, happy and sad, love and hate, girl and boy, they're all dancing, aren't they? So shall we? We only dance, don't we, when we are happy? And for you to feel really very, very happy to be here, hear this now, to now discover, now know the magic of dancing. Dancing is something that we all do, even when we are babies, we naturally muse to music. We look in wonder at children's freedom as they express themselves without a care in the world. And we remember, don't we all, intuitively dance to music that we like, even if we think we know we don't like some music, it still gets our bodies moving, with or without us wanting it to or even aware to, and sometimes that can happily surprise us, as we think to ourselves, and it's a good thing to think about yourself for a change, isn't it? Because if our bodies are moving to the rhythm, then it must be right, mustn't it? You know, some of you worry too much. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this left? Am I doing this midpoint? Point is, who cares? Nobody cares. So remember that when you dance, any, any change in your body movement must be right. It cannot be wrong. Two wrongs don't make a right, right? That's right. And if you tell yourself it's just too hard, then tell yourself that it's just too soft. After all, if you were to tell a pencil that it's too hard or too soft in its lead, would lead you, lead you to believe then it would be right. It would be right. Anyway, wouldn't it? Hard or soft, it doesn't care, does it? It just dances, a pen just dances on the paper, right? Right, that's right. Now let us go right back to dancing because dancing isn't just for your body, is it? We dance with our words. If music be the food of love, play on. Give me the excess of it. Shakespeare seemed to understand that everyone loves music. And music is just dancing with notes, isn't it? Notes, now notes, no? Yes, but why? Why is music so powerful? Remember when you were young and you listened to the same song over and over and over again? When the band or musician you listened to was your God? Clearly, if all of us have a different God, then God must be one of us. And if God is one of us, then God must be all of us. And if God is in all of us, then that must mean that we're all dancing to the same rhythm of life, aren't we? After all, doesn't the Earth, the Moon, the Sun and the planets, the stars, the galaxy, the Milky Way and the universe all eternally dancing and understanding with each other? Then shall we embrace the rhythm, the words and all join everything together in harmony and simply just dance, dance, dance.